got the trailer for episode 3 of the Amazing Digital Circus coming on October 4th. And this episode looks different. So here are all the details you may not have noticed in the trailer as well as some other stuff that might happen in the actual episode. We can see that the circus members are going on a new adventure at what's called Mildenhall Manor. But the adventure itself is actually called The Mystery of Mildenhall Manor. We also hear that Zubal doesn't want to go on the adventure. But since we know that episode 3 is going to focus on her and Kinger, it seems that Kane is trying to get her to open up to going on the adventures. Because it seems that he just builds a therapy room, which is probably why Zubal was angry in the teaser we got not too long ago, because it seems as if Kane is thinking of her as needing help when she doesn't want it. We also see that Paul is <laughs> out in a cartoonish style which probably means that there'll be something she comes across or maybe there'll even be jump scares. We also heard that Kinger and Palmney are going to team up for this adventure, but we saw everyone together, which seems to be the beginning based on their body language, which means that the characters will probably split up at some point, you know, Scooby-Doo style, either on purpose or maybe even because of some kind of trap door. But if you look at the lighting inside of the mansion, it seems to be the exact same lighting that we saw before with the tape recorder character, which 99% confirms that that character is going to be in episode 3, but what 99% Point nine 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 percent confirms this is the shot where Palmney is opening a drawer and we see a bunch of tapes that they'll probably listen to, which makes me think, is the tape recorder even a character or is it actually <laughs> We also see Palmney and Kinger getting stuck or maybe trying to open something which which might be how the group split up. But what's really weird is when Pomni and Kinger are together, we see a weird shot of Kinger over the shoulder looking at Pomni, and then the lighting just gets all dark. And then the next shot is Kinger's pillow fort in similar lighting, which makes me think, maybe we'll finally get to know what happened with Kinger's backstory, and maybe this will be the visual that it happens through. We also see Jax holding what Kinger calls a vacuum, but it's most likely some sort of ghost trapping device, kind of like Ghostbusters or Luigi's Mansion. We also also see Kane and Pomni in what seems to be the tent. But the thing is, this looks exactly like the intro room. In the intro we got in episode 1, every character is behind a curtain, then another character behind another curtain, and then another, and then another, until the end. And with what seems to be three curtains all right next to each other, this might be Kane talking to Pomni before they do a new intro. Which maybe shows that they know that they're inside of a YouTube video, or maybe it's something that Kane is doing in canon, and so they don't actually know that they're inside of a glitch show. We also saw two shots of a sewer, one where we can see just the outside of it and the other being Kinger and Pomni walking through it. And since we saw Pomni trying to escape something and the shot of the sewer was outside, we can likely assume that they're going to use the sewer to somehow escape the mansion, but I'm not sure how they're going to get everyone else out of there. And one thing I've noticed throughout the trailer is that the whole, you know, aspect ratio is a square. And I don't think the actual episode is going to be in square format, especially with this shot of Kinger over the shoulder where we literally see half of him cut off, so what I'm assuming is that for the trailer it looks like this, but when we get the actual episode on October 4th, it'll look like all the other episodes in the same style, 16 by 9 aspect ratio, and it'll look just as good as episode 2 did. And also for this video, I decided to not show any of the body parts that was in the trailer, because I'm not really a fan of that stuff, but that's pretty much all that I found in the trailer. Let me know 